Hi everyone, good morning and welcome to another tutorial on my channel. So today's video, we are going to look at how to um, upload the data that we downloaded in the last video into NV and perform the basic uh, image processing that um, we all know. So without wasting much time, uh, I'm going to browse to where I, I save my data that I downloaded from the previous videos. So in order to upload an uh, image in MV, there are so many ways that you can do that. So the MV 5.3 is one of the powerful software that has given us access to uploading. So you be able to upload all the images one by one, or you can upload the metadata of the image and you are good to go. So I'm going to first try uploading the images one by one, and I will try doing some basic geoprocessing tools that, some basic image processing tools that um, we all know. So I'm going to come to open, now click on open. If I click on open, it is going to open to where I save my data. So this will save my data. So in order to start the data, you need a software called WinRAD. WinRAD is a software um, that can help you unzip your data. So most of the data always come in the format of a zip file. So when you download the image, it appears in zip file format. So it is now your um, duty to extract the, the downloaded image in downloaded image in the form of bands. So in order to um to be able to uh, extract the image, your your soft your image is going to be in the form of this. So in order to extract this, you have just right click on it. When you right click on it, um, you will have the chance to extract. So it will, it will tell you extract. So you extract files or you extract here. Yes. So when you take extract here, that means you are going to save in a particular folder. But when you say extract file, that means you are going to extract and the files are going to, the bands are going to be saved in the recent folder where the image is. So you can use any of this option to extract your image. So as you are seeing in my case, I've already extracted the image and I have some of the images here, 2000. So in order to upload um, these images into MV, so you can upload multiple bands into MV. So you just have to press your control key. So when you press and hold the control, you are going to hit band one, select the bands that you want. So the B1 start from band one, then come to band two, band three, band four, band five, band six. So band six appear in two. So band six, these are the time bands. We have band six, uh, any one that you want. So we have band seven, then band eight. So I'm going to open this into MV. So my image is loading. So uh, my bands are uploaded in the software and like, so you see them, they are arranged. So I can zoom to layer to see the number of bands, how it is. So these are my image and this image is in, it cover Accra and some part of Bota region in Ghana here. Yeah? So um, if you look at the Landsat image, this is how you define them. So the first thing you are seeing, LEO is the Landsat, that is satellite data. So this one is Landsat 7. Then this number is 19, you see 2000. This is the year the image was downloaded. Then uh, you come to, then the B stands for the band, the band number. So you can see I have band one, band two, band three, band four, up to band eight. So this is how to upload uh, image in NG. So um, I'm going to proceed to teach you guys how to do basic image uh, processing. So I'm, I'm going to do gaff I'm going to do, Dramatic uh, calibration, then I'm going to um, do layer stacking with these bands that I have here. So, Garfield is on talk about Garfield. Garfield, like at times when you download a satellite image, there are some straight lines on the image, and you need to remove them before you can work with the image. So, to do that, a Garfield tool is going to help us um, remove the straight lines on our image. And when you come here, we see you have. Um, 
extension graph. So this one is not part of the envy software, but it's an extension that when you get the lens, you can be able to what, uh, uh, upload it or maybe like extend it into the into the software and you can be able to use it. So it is a very important tool in the end software. So um my email doesn't have um strip lines here, but I'm going to do so to work on that. And if your image is having strip lines and you use this method, it is going to be what cleared off. So I'm going to double click on what gaffle. So if I select gaffle, it will ask me a uh, single gaffle. So I'm going to go for single gaffle. Then I'm going to choose so that I can brush to where I'm going to save my data. So I'm going to save it here. So I'm going to name it uh, Gaffle. So I'll hit enter. So I'll click on OK. Then the software will ask me to pick the band that I want to gaffle. So I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to gaffle one band at a time. So I'm going to gaffle band one at a time. Then I'll click on OK. So it will tell me replacing bad data processing. So it is replacing the gaffles. So it is going to move the gaffles. And as you can see, this is going to be my new band. And if I was having a strip lines, the, the strip lines by now so have been moved by the gaffle techniques, right? So this is how to perform gaffles. So you can decide if you're having an image that is having a lot of strip lines, you can you can you can put, you can also use this method to gaffle them. So we have so many ways. So um, like I was saying, the MV5.3 give access to up uploading the metadata. So when you put in the metadata, you can gaffle the metadata and to affect all the bands. So that's one bit foot now by the MV5.3. So I'm going to demonstrate that later, but for now, let's just focus on this. So assuming like um, I'm done gaffling my image, so we have something they call radiomatic correction. So if I'm going to do radiomatic correction, I'll just come here. So um. This search bar here allow you to give you access to uh, to be able to so um another aspect of um the software I'm going to teach you is um how to do layer stacking and layer stacking is really very important. So um um I'm going to teach you how to do the layer stacking and and you are going to be fine. So this one is stretch and this one is called image enhancement. So you can enhance the image the way you want it uh, to, to, to enlighten the brightening or maybe the way you want it to be brightening. I mean like, so if you are using this, you're going to brighten the image here more. So um, I'm going to teach you how to do a layer stack and, and, and that will be all for today's video. So um, for layer stacking, um, what happens is you have the chance to um, add two or more bands to get um, to get a color that you want. So in order to do that, um, don't just do layer stacking. We have a place where you can go and uh, look for band combination. And from band combination, you wouldn't get the number of the required band that you need to work on a particular project. So um, first, um, so I'm going to proceed to um, to do the layer stacking as I said. So, um, but to do the layer stacking, I have to first go to the Chrome to go and check the bank combination that is good for me, depending on the kind of project I'm going to do. So to do that, you just open your Chrome. So when you open your Chrome, it appears here. So, um, I'm going to type bank combination. I'll click on enter. So I'll open the bank combination. So if I open the bank combination, these are bank combination from Landsat satellite. So if you take, we have the RGB bands here. So 432, these are the um, things it's going to give you. So when you take band 432, you are going to be getting standard force color composition. So you can go through all this and look at the favorite band that you think when you combine it, it will help you reveal the features you are having interest in studying. So if you want to study urban features, water bodies, buildings, forests, I mean, you can go through all these bands and look at the appropriate bank combination that will be suitable for you and you are fine to go. So that's saying much time. I'm going to open my MV again. So I'm going to come to the toolbox. I'm going to type, uh, search for the tool layer stacking. So if I click on layer stacking, 
So it's here. So I'll double click on it. So if I, so if I open this, let's talk in parameter box that is going to be displayed here. So if I'm going to import a file, I'm going to click on import files. So if I click on import files, then I'm going to hold control and add all these bands. So I'm going to hold control, then I'll click on all the bands and add them. Uh, then I'm going to hit OK. So if you add this, the bands are not arranged the way you want it. So it's four, four, five, six. But in my case, I want to do in the form of band six, three, band six, five, four. So band six, five, four. So these bands are not arranged the way I want it. So they are arranged in band four, five, six. And I don't want it that way. So in order to be able to arrange it the way you want it, you have to come to reorder files. When you click on reorder files, so you send the band six, you can put the mouse pointer and drag and hold the band six to the place you want to. So I'll drag and hold the band six to the top. Then I'll drag and hold the band five to the middle. Then these are the combination I want six, five, four. So that will click OK. And it is going to be soon here too as well. So it's going to be six, five, four. So in order to process, so this all I need to do, then I'll click on choose where I'm going to save it. So I'm going to save it layer stack and then I'm going to say five, six, sorry, six, five, four, and I'm going to hit okay. So, and I'm going to click on okay. So my ban is, my um, tax is executing and a new layer is going to be And you can see this is the bank combination. It has given me the bank combination that I want. So I can enhance the image to see what is going on here. So if I enhance it, this is what I'm going to see. So if I go back to red band 654, I should be able to identify what it means. For instance, the red you see here represents the water bodies, and which is very clear. The yellow you see here are for the buildups and the stars, and the dark. Sign you see here is for the forest and the stuff. So this is how we do the layer stacking in MV. And um, there's another way of doing layer stacking. That when you are going to load the uh, metadata, then you are, you are going to be fine. So to do that one, to um, I'm going to uh, remove all this band. So I'm going to come to uh, file, then I'll come to open as, uh, then I'll go to Landsat, then I'll go to GTIF metadata. Then I'm going to choose the metadata here. Then it is going to be loaded. So this is going to be, so if I open the data manager, um, it contains all the bands. So if you see here, you can see we have thermal bands. So if you are going to calculate for land surface temperature, these are the bands we are going to be using. They have band thermal band one and band two, but they all belong to band six. Then we have the panchromatic band, which is also here, which is also used for it steady. Then we have uh, the normal bands we are using band one, band two, up to band seven. So in order to um, do any do anything with the metadata, I can start to load maybe band. I'm going to load the same bands I lost previously. So I'm going to load band uh, six. I'm going to load band seven, five, and four. So if I load band seven, five, and four, then I'm going to click on load. If I click on load, um, it is going to be this way. And this another way of what doing layer stacking. So that one is very simple. Just come here and select the bands that you want and load them. And you are going to be fine. I'm going to load band one, two, three. I'm going to load band one, two, and three. And I'm going to be fine. So this is going to be. So this other way of doing layer stacking in the um, MV software. So I've given you two ways of doing layer stacking in the MV software. And this off of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please kindly subscribe, share, and like as we grow the YouTube channel. Another, the next video is going to be on how to perform Quark and Flask in MV software. And they are also very important in image process, pre processing. Thank you very much for watching and bye.